Hey everybody. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> the finished stash buster afghan. Woo! I'm so excited. Yay. All right. I'm going to zoom in here. So the edging, you can see I added just this little bit of blue to the edging and I did I uh, took the stitch that's usually part of the African flower stitch and have and put that on the edge. So there it is. My stash buster afghan. Yay! I'm so excited. So I finished it um while watching the Alabama Georgia game. Roll tide. Roll tide y'all. So there it is. I'm so excited. Woo! Yay! I'm excited. Woo! So anyway, thank you. Thank you for the hearts. All right. So then I also finished, I guess I was on a roll because I haven't been doing a lot of art every day. It's more like art once a week. How many years? <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, I guess um, it took a while. I took a break from it for about, gosh, about five years. So uh, a few weeks ago, I picked up starting from here to here but from here to here sat for about five years our team got reported for animal abuse to kick it <laughs> yeah i guess maybe they did because they did uh kick some butt this weekend didn't they anyway roll tide y'all anyway there's my afghan all right so my other project that i finished is the seashell scarf um, I don't know if you guys have seen, you can probably see the videos on Catch Me um, and where I was weaving this seashell scarf. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Um, I started it in at Folly Beach at my girls retreat. And so here it is. And I ended up incorporating some of the seashells that I found on the beach. And uh, this is using... Let's see, there's a section here where I didn't where I didn't weave and I left it blank because I love the way that that yarn is curling. And it kind of reminded me of the waves. So anyway, so I left some of that areas area unwoven. But the rest of it I used all this fine yarn and and it kind of reminded me of a net very uh like a, a a net netting and with the seashell so i'm really pleased with the way this one came out i just got done doing all the photography for it as well as these scarves well i didn't finish these scarves this past week but i just finished shooting a bunch of these this is now this is this is the scarf that i used to do the demos for the Beyond the Basics class. This is actually a cow. I uh, crocheted this edge together here, the edges. I just did like a, a chain stitch to do the edges. And then I have all the techniques from the Beyond the Basics class. If you take that, if you sign up for that class, these are the techniques that I, I demoed in that class anyway so i took this and i made this cow and then i have this scarf now this is this is another technique i love using with oh thank you thank you very much this is another cool to see the finished one after going through that awesome class oh yay thanks yeah it's um i usually spread the techniques out a little bit but but for demo purposes, I decided to, you know, I had, I wanted to get through it, so I, I put them really close together. But yeah, this is what it turned out to be. Anyway, so this, this is really cool. For hand spun yarn, I really love using hairpin lace because it leaves it, the stitches open up, and you can see the texture of the hand spun yarn. So if you've got some wild hand spun yarn try using a hairpin lace um, to crochet in. And I might have to, to do a demo of how to do that, but that's a really fun way to, uh, to incorporate your hand spun 
into, into uh, some crochet. And so here are some of my other scarves. Now this one, this one is one that I worked on not too long ago. Can, let me open it up a little bit. I'm gonna have, um, I have, I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy with all the moving of the camera around. Anyway, so this is another one of my scarves that I, I made using just that rigid head loom. Now this one, this one's all just using techniques from the, the basics class, the free class that I have on my website. Um, if you go, it's the getting started with weaving. If you go to the e-courses, you can find that. It's just the uh, sign up and, uh, and it's a, a free series. And then this one, uh, now this scarf, I almost didn't part with it. it I'll not, I'm not gonna lie, this one sat in my closet for a couple of weeks. This is really cool because it has some of these beads here and some pom-pom fringe. This is one of my favorite sections. You might have seen this. Thank you. Thanks for the hearts, guys. You might have seen that section. I use that a lot in my promo photography for some of my stuff. And then this is a, a little sequined yarn. It's a thin, thin yarn that I kind of just added in with with some of the regular. So I did like a double, a double weave on that. Anyway, so there's the rest of this. Oh, this is where, I don't know if you guys have seen and where I do the magic ball. The magic ball technique. This is uh, where I use the magic ball in this scarf. And then I love this little section with all the little red dots on that very very plain hand wove hand spun this is some uh hand spun tricolor fin that i had spun up into a yarn i was testing for a sweater and so i took that test yarn and added it to this scarf so and then this scarf is wild this is one of the first ones i did i wanted to try doing making a scarf using dreads so i just laid the dreads across and look at that like a big dread boa anyway it's pretty wild <laughs> but it looks actually a little more tame on so there you have it but it's really long I mean really you can see how long it is it's very long so anyway there you have it I'm gonna turn it around you have to excuse me because I have not uh, I brushed my hair and that's about it hold on I'm gonna double tap to click Hi! Hey everybody! Hi! Weed or clothing? What? F? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, hey! How are you? How are you? So, anyway, go make art. I'm gonna go upload pictures of the scarves that I just uh, took pictures of and I will talk to you later. Bye!